Hello, crafty, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be sharing with you how I made these super cute plant stands from this pile of wood slices that my husband made last year while cutting down a tree in our backyard. If you don't have a tree to cut down, no problem. I actually found these very pretty wood slices at Hobby Lobby. They're nice and thick, and you can even use their 40% off coupon. I always do this. I usually get it by Googling Hobby Lobby coupon. Okay, here's the supplies I used. For the full list, I'll go ahead and add a link down below. To begin, I used a flathead screwdriver and a hammer to chip away all of the bark and rough edges. You can leave some bark visible if you'd like or remove all of it. To finish off my wood slab, I lightly sanded the edges and the top. Next, I got a straight piece of wood and lay my wooden dowel next to it. My dowel was about one and one fourth inches in thickness. Then I used a marker to mark a solid line along the dowel. This will help give you clean angled cuts. To cut my dowel, I used my Dewalt miter saw. Since I wanted the legs on my plant stand to angle out, I cut the legs at a 10 degree angle. This is totally optional and you can cut the legs straight as well. If you're cutting the legs without an angle, there's no need for a line across the dowel. Here's how the straight legs look versus the angled ones. You can also get your dowel cut at Home Depot if you don't have cutting tools at home. To cut my dowels at a 10 degree angle, I made sure my blue marker line was always facing up where the blade would come into contact with it. Then I set my miter saw at 10 degrees and cut the end of the dowel to start off with. I used my measuring tape to mark at about five inches and cut it at a 10 degree angle again. Using the piece I just cut, I aligned it and lay it on top of my dowel and made a new marking to cut my next leg. Make sure the blue line is always at the top. I chose to go with three legs with my plant stands. Next, find the highest point on each leg and mark the edge with a marker. I used a paper and made a triangle to help attach my legs evenly. This was actually kind of pointless because I feel like attaching the legs to the edges of the wood slice worked better rather than attaching them to the edges of the triangle. I got these tea plates at Home Depot. They were sold in sets of two and were actually pretty budget friendly. One side of this tea plate has countersink edges around the holes and the back side doesn't. The countersink holes help screws settle in nicely and be flush with the surface. Oh, and before I forget, if you're thinking of trying the L plate, I tried this and it was a total fail because the legs weren't sturdy at all. This tea plate surprisingly makes really sturdy legs. Just make sure you buy the thicker metal. To attach the legs, I pre-drilled holes in the dowels as straight as possible and attached the tea plate to the leg, making sure the countersink edge is facing up. It is important that your screw is flush with the surface for this step. Make sure your screw is really tight as well. This will ensure that your legs aren't loose. Next, display your legs on the back of the wood slice where you'd like to attach them and make sure all the highest peaks of the 10 degree angle cuts that you marked earlier are all facing in towards each other. This will ensure that the legs are angled outward on the plant stand. Mark where you'd like to attach the legs and use a drill to pre-drill your holes before securing your tea plates with screws. I used smaller screws to make sure they didn't go through the wood completely. Then, to finish it off, lightly sand down the marks you made with the marker. And that's it! If you love the raw wood look, you can totally leave them raw, or you can paint them different colors or even white. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am so in love with my new plant stands and my plants look gorgeous on them. Here's how they look in my little plant jungle. I can't believe they're so easy to make and it's way cheaper than buying ready-made ones. Happy DIYing everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I will see you all next time. Bye.